this video, let us look at the objectives and formalities of a medico-legal autopsy. First of all, what is medico-legal autopsy? Uh, it is a systemic examination of dead body. What is it? It is a systemic examination of dead body. <clears throat> it is done in suspected case of foul play to determine cause of death and manner of death. So you will determine what and all cause of death and manner of death. If it is a suspected case, you want to find out the cause of death and manner of death. So auto means uh, self and uh, what is opus? Opus is view. So why is it a self view? I have no idea. Next, <clears throat> objectives. What are the objectives of uh, medical legal autopsy? To find out the cause of death, to find out uh, whether it was natural death or unnatural death, to find out the manner of death. So whether it was suicidal, homicidal, accidental, find the time since death, <clears throat> establish the identity of death. You will collect the evidence uh, in order to find the object or substance which causes the death. You can try to identify the criminal to determine question of live birth viability for a newborn. Okay. So let us go to the prerequisites now. Prerequisites of a prerequisites of a medical legal autopsy. The dead body you should need obviously. Then you should have a requisition from authorized person like police or magistrate. So please note this that you need to have a approval to do an autopsy. Police or magistrate. Then you should have a registered medical practitioner. Not anybody and everybody can do a registered medical practitioner. Usually a medical officer or forensic expert. Then you need to have a mortuary or an authorized center. You can't just do it anywhere and everywhere. An authorized center should be there. Mortuary. Now what are the formalities? Rules. <clears throat> the rules. Autopsy should be conducted in a mortuary, never in a private room. Then it may be conducted at scene of crime if body is in advanced state of putrefaction and transportation is difficult. And um, you, it should be done under the request of a magistrate or investigation investigating officer. Consent of relatives is not required. <clears throat> In case of dowry death or custodial deaths, right, then um, it should be conducted by two doctors. Two doctors will need to do the autopsy. And uh, as soon as you get the requisition for autopsy, you should, you should do it immediately without delay. The medical officer should read this inquest report carefully. First of all, you read the report carefully and find out the apparent cause of death. Obtain all information such as the case sheet, the accident, etc. <clears throat> so you will know where to look for specific points. If they're saying this is what happened, then you can go there, look for that. And probably you don't find what you're looking for. And you can then find that something else has happened, not what they are claiming. Right? So you should do it in daylight <clears throat> as much as possible. That's what they're saying because you cannot appreciate color changes like jaundice, postmortem staining, cyanosis in artificial light. Then, um, before commencement of autopsy, accompanying police constable must identify the dead body. The police constable must say, yes, this is the body I want you to um, do autopsy on. No unauthorized person should be present except investigation police officer. Nobody else should be present there. Then uh, all injuries should be diagrammatically represented as a sketch. All uh, injuries, etc. examinations should be written verbally. Also, it should be written <clears throat> by an assistant. If assistant writes, it's, writes, it's enough, they're saying. Then uh, positive and negative findings should be noted. Nothing should be erased or altered in, and, and it should be signed in the final report. Every organ must be examined and uh, all autopsies should be complete. All the body cavities should be open. So all body cavities should be open or every organ should be examined. And um, <clears throat> it should be per performed even on a decomposed body okay, to find the cause of death etc. After completion of autopsy, the body should be Stitched, washed, restored to best possible cosmetic appearance and handed over to the police, investigating officers, etc. Do not hand over the body to the relatives. So it is the police's duty to hand over the body to the relatives. It is absolutely essential to preserve the evidence, chain of evidence by identifying body and maintaining absolute control of specimens removed at autopsy. So all the articles that removed from the body, etc. should be listed. 
So whatever you will collect as forensic samples, you will collect like blood, liver and all that, right? We'll come to that. What's the medical legal importance of uh, medical legal autopsy? All unnatural deaths are subjected to medical legal autopsies. Autopsies have to be complete. All body cavities need to be opened. So basically here only so much is mentioned. Actually, there are some more things like about this topic, a lot can be written. They will collect the blood, they will collect the uh, sample of the liver, sample of the stomach, the content of the stomach. A lot of things you can write in the exam uh, because you would have seen an, uh, so many autopsies, right? Drowning or hanging or electrocution, suicide or, or road traffic accidents, RTAs. So based on that, you can write a lot in the exam. So basically understand uh, objectives, prerequisites, formalities, etc.